If you've been trying to get your software team to train for PCI DSS compliance, but it's just not happening for some reason, I think I know why. A few years ago, AppSec Engineer was working with a major financial services company in the US, and these guys were having a big problem. For over six years, they'd been trying to figure out PCI training for their product teams, but there was one major problem. They were using this training platform which had many courses in product security. One might even say too many. Now here's the kicker, the platform wasn't properly organizing all their hundreds of courses and it literally showed up like a wall of content. Without a proper way to categorize different courses, team leaders just marked everything as mandatory, even ones which had nothing to do with PCI DSS compliance. And what happens when every course is mandatory? Nothing is. Most of the engineers just skip their assigned training because who the hell is gonna waste time doing all of that anyway? But it gets worse. Their old training platform had this really bare bones reporting system that just told you if a user completed a course or not. No details on their progress, no way to know how much time they spent, and no assessments to test if a user really learned anything. So if a team leader wanted to share a training report with upper management, they had to manually format the data in an Excel sheet. In a nutshell, the whole experience was either a waste of money or a waste of time, or both. Definitely both. Now, let me try and guess what sort of training experience you would want if you're looking for the ideal PCI DSS compliance training. First of all, you'd want the content to be well organized, right? Each course designed for a specific language, clearly indicating whether it's relevant to PCI or not. Second, you want a solid reporting panel that clearly tells you how your team is progressing in training, how much they've completed, and which users are lagging behind. Ideally, you should be able to export these reports into formats like CSV, JSON, and Excel. Or even better, the reports could directly link with your LMS, allowing you to receive all that data on your own interface. And third, the training should be short, bite-sized learning modules that incrementally teach new skills to your engineers so they don't get overloaded with information and quit the training program. Does all that sound like something you'd want in an ideal learning platform? Well, I must say, we at AppSec Engineer are flattered because that's exactly what we offer. All of our courses are clearly categorized based on which language they target and whether they're useful for a particular certification. We're introducing learning journeys, which are curated roadmaps that take you through all the courses necessary to acquire skills in a specific area like PCI DSS, Secure by Design Development, and more. And yes, they're all language specific. But what about reporting? Well, the admin panel on AppSec Engineer is by far the best in the business. We've really listened to what our customers want and we've expanded its capabilities exponentially. Now we have detailed reports with easy to read graphs and charts, instant exporting to various formats, and because we're SCORM and LTI compliant, we can seamlessly link to your LMS to onboard users and upload reports data. We tell you how far users have progressed in their training, how much time they spent on videos, labs, and challenges, and you can even send reminders to users who are lagging behind in their training directly from the platform. And finally, AppSec Engineer's courses are all short and easy to digest, teaching important concepts in an hour or less. This way, no one loses interest in what they're learning, vastly improving their engagement with the content. At the end of the day, the only skills that are useful are the ones that help your team do their job better. No unnecessary theory, no fluff. So, we're coming to the end of this video, but there's still some unanswered questions. How do you manage so many users and assign courses to them? How do you test them to ensure that they're actually learning something? I'll be back very soon with another video explaining how to do all that and more. But until then, get subscribed to AppSec Engineer and start your learning journey today.